Aegis Armors. My name is Frank. Today we're going to do a final walk around in this 2020 Dodge Challenger Hellcat. Uh, I want to thank my buddy Paul and his wife Jennifer. They drove this car all the way from Minnesota, about 1,150 miles, just to have Aegis do the work on it. Uh, hopefully that speaks to something more quality. Uh, basically this car is completely coated, uh, top to bottom, left to right. Uh, if you want to come around here, we actually coated the wheels and the inside of the wheels, as well as the brake calipers. You can see how these really pop. I will actually, I'll put in a picture in picture on the screen so you can see it now with the wheel, what the brake caliper look like with or without coating. There's a pretty major difference. Uh, we'll see if we can zoom in on the paint a little bit. The clarity on this paint, the depth is ridiculous now. We haven't taken the vehicle outside yet. We're waiting on the customer to show up so we can show them, kind of unveil it outside with the sun in it. Uh, basically, we coated, we did a two-stage paint correction, both gloves and I worked on that. Uh, that took about, roughly about 14 hours between us to get it all done right. Uh, then we laid our five-year Aegis Armor base coat on it. Um, on this particular car, we also used our older product, the two-year top coat, which is a uh, super hydrophobic, adds a lot more gloss and shine to the car. Uh, did that really just to, you know, in appreciation of them driving such a big trip to get us to do the work. Uh, like I said, we did coat the wheels, use our Aegis Armor Marine and wheel coating, as well as the calipers. It's designed for uh, conditions like that and higher temperatures. On the bottom of the vehicle, all of the plastics on the vehicle were coated with Cerakote, ceramic, ceramic plastic and trim coating. Uh, that coating is coated to 200 washes. The reason we like that it actually darkens up the uh, plastics and gives them a nice rich look. We'll talk about real quick the maintenance like we do in every, uh, every video. So basically once every two weeks, depending on exposure, how much it's out in the elements, we're going to take our spectrum or foam fury. Put it in a foam can, you'll rinse the car first, you'll spray the soap on it, let it sit for about 45 seconds, rinse it off, take a leaf blower and dry it. Once every three months, you do a physical hand wash on it, you'll take our HSR Armor Renew, you'll get three microfibers, wet one, wring it out, you'll spray this on the hood, a couple pumps, wipe it in with a wet towel, let it sit for about 15 seconds, and buff it off with the two microfibers that are dry. And that is literally all the maintenance that ever needs to be done on this vehicle. And it'll look just like this for a minimum of five years. Um, and again, that process on a vehicle this size takes maybe 15 to 18 minutes total. Um, on the tires, we use our Aegis Armor's Black Widow. Uh, like me, Paul is not a big fan of, of glossy tires, so we basically put it on with a satin finish. It just makes the tires look jet black. Um, if you like the glossy look, you can apply this at night, put it on very heavy, and let the car sit overnight. It'll have a high gloss look in the morning, and it won't slow when you drive it. Um, some other products we've got are Shield and Shield Elite. Shield is a spray-on up to six-month coating. Shield Elite goes up to 12 months. Uh, this little bottle will do 15 cars. So if that's something you're interested in, you can definitely get us a call and we can ship these out to you. And these coatings and all these products do work on any type of ceramic coating. It doesn't have, it have to be the Aegis brand. Um, you know, this is a little Aegis Armor's aftercare instruction that we give with the customer. It basically explains everything they need to do on this car to maintenance it. Um, it's got a one sheet in there specifically, do's and don'ts. Try to keep it as simple as possible. If it's something you're looking to do to your car, this process takes anywhere from three to five days, depending on the condition of the car when it comes in, the size, and the color. Um, yeah, I guess that's really about it. We're going to All right, so the owners just showed up and they're fixing to walk in and see if we can get some initial reaction. Uh, hey, Frank. Hey, how you doing, Paul? Jennifer? There we go. Oh. Come on, you got to be able to see that, Jennifer. Oh, I can definitely see it. That is shiny. Pretty easy, Jenny. It actually you did change some of the color, like you're saying, Frank. Yeah. I mean, it's, yep. I knew I could see it on the wheels, but you can really see it on the actual color. Now, I think you told me already, but this has it. Yes, that's coated as well. This this has it. Like everything's got a coat. Everything. Yeah. So I don't. Everything. I mean, I'm, I'm good. The, the the glass, everything. Yep. I know people are going to ask me that. They're going to say, well, what about this? What about that? Everything. Yeah. Other than the brake rotors themselves, everything else is good. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, the calipers, right? The yeah. Bright red calipers. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, phew, yeah, that's cool. So I was telling everybody earlier in the video, you guys drove like 1,165 miles one yeah. way to get this. Yeah. So now the question is, you know, was it worth the drive? <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it is worth it because I understand the difference. You know, I mean, that's the hard part. I know you, and, and, and I wanted for this car to not just have a regular quick coating. I mean, okay. I want a, a long-term coating. I live out in the country. I want to be able to keep it clean. 
you know, bugs and dust and crap. And this is that much better. So for sure. My Audi awesome. looks nothing like this. I got yeah. the ceramic coating from the dealership. It looks nothing, nothing like, like this. this. That one's like a little nothing. better. This is like it's night and day That's difference. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. That's what we like to hear. Huge. So I will get to test it as soon as I get home, I'm sure, because it's yep. covered with bugs. <laughs> well, looking at the weather forecast, you're probably going to see the water stuff on the way home. Yeah, oh. It looks like there's rain splotches everywhere. And, yeah, so. Good. All right. But I don't need to do anything there either, right? No. Nope. Just, nope. just like home. I said, just don't get too caught up on what's happening on the hood while you're driving in the rain, because <laughs> it is distracting the first couple times you see it. Take, I'll have her take video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Awesome. Yep. Inside the door jams too. Oh, yep, wow. that's done as well. Oh man, I forgot about that. Oh, that will be nice. Now we're those weird people that actually wipe out our door jams yep. when we yep. wash the car. So that will also be killer. Oh wow. Yep. It is gorgeous. Wow, thanks. This is amazing. Awesome. Definitely yep. worth it. Good deal, good deal. And you're in a cool place. Graham is a neat place. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so while this is getting done, you, you can go see some sights and some good food and stuff. So I, I would suggest to almost anybody who wants to make a road trip down for the best ceramic coating in the country. Well, we definitely appreciate it. And um, I'll stop this and we'll pull it outside and get some outside uh, sun on it. Sounds good. I mean, it's not a different color, but the uh, the depth and the and the bright and dark. Wow, almost like a color shield. Yeah. I'm uh, Frank from Aegis Armor. No, how you doing, Frank? I'm Frank. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
so, good to see you. So what do you think so far? So, you know, the Brembo brakes are pretty cool and now they're even cooler because I didn't realize we could coat those. Yeah, so we actually, you know, clean them obviously, alcohol wipe them down and then apply the same coating we used on the wheels. Uh, it holds up to the heat, a little bit thicker, more durable. And you know, on some massive brakes like that. Right. Definitely helps keep them keep easy clean. To keep keep clean. Them clean. Nice. Yep. That's killer. So you now, can kind of see the, I, I can't the depth even... of the paint a little bit, you know, a little bit more of that type stuff. Once we put the coating on, yeah. you know, that'll get enhanced tenfold. So that's what I was going to say. This is just paint correction, right? Right, I right. Mean, it looks way better than when I brought it here. That's I the goal. It. 